This is a sermon titled Reflections in the Mirror, A Call to Change. James chapter 1 verses 23 through 25 reads, For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his natural face in a mirror. For once he has looked at himself and gone away, he has immediately forgotten what kind of person he was. Verse 25. But one who looks intently at the perfect law, the law of liberty, and abides by it, not having become a forgetful hearer, but an effectual doer, this man will be blessed in what he does. I was shopping on line um, a couple of days ago and I came across a real cool hat. The hat said, anything you say today can be used in a sermon on Sunday. That was really funny. For some reason, a video of Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror popped up. I have no idea why. And as I listened to the melody, and then I listened to the lyrics. I actually thought about the lyrics from the standpoint of what it was actually saying. The haunting melody of Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror calls us to confront our reflections and it urges us to recognize the power we hold to change not only ourselves but the world around us. You know, this powerful message finds a resonating echo in the Bible. In the book of James, we are asked to be more than passive listeners of God's Word. We are called to be active participants in His transformative work. James draws a striking parallel between our spiritual lives and the simple act of looking in the mirror. Just as a mirror reveals our physical appearance, the mirror of God and His work, the true condition of our spirit. When we gaze into the mirror of Scripture, we may not always like what we see. Like the songwriter, we might discover a reflection marred by selfishness, indifference, and a willful blindness to the suffering of others. In the lyrics, the broken bottle top and the lone soul symbolizes a disregard for the beauty and the warmth of the summer, a metaphor for the love and compassion we should extend to each other. This disregard mirrors the parable of the Good Samaritan where a man is left for dead while those who should have helped him passed him by. Luke chapter 10 verses 25, the pattern of the wind describes dreams and broken hearts following a lack of direction and purpose. In contrast, the Bible offers a clear path to seek God's will and live a life guided by His Spirit. Spirit. Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6 is, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. This song is quite deep because it also talks about the victims of a selfish kind of love us a love that transcends self-interests, a love that sacrifices, forgives, and seeks the well-being of others. 1 Corinthians 13. The imperative of transformation. The song's refrain, if you want to make the world a better place, Take a look at yourself and then make a change. 
that is a call to action, to be a doer of the word. It is a reminder that transformation begins within each of us. The songwriter speaks of asking the man in the mirror to change his ways. Similarly, we must engage in honest self-reflection, acknowledging our flaws and seeking God's guidance for change. The 51st Division of Psalms offers a model for this introspective prayer as King David poured out his heart before God, seeking forgiveness and renewal. Then the song goes on and declares, no message could have been any clearer. God's word offers a clear path to righteousness, a roadmap for a life that honors and blesses others. It is a message of hope, forgiveness, and the power of the Holy Spirit to transform us from the inside out. Romans 12, 2 says, and do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. What happens when change comes about? We'll see, change disrupts matter. When we choose to align our lives with God's truth, we become agents of change. Our action, no matter how small, can create a ripple effect that touches the lives of others, ultimately contributing to a more just and compassionate world. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16 says, Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. You may find it weird that I am using a song by Michael Jackson to talk specifically about how we should follow the word of God, but if God can allow a donkey to speak, God can allow anything to reach the masses. So, both Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror and the Book of James invites us on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. They challenge us to confront our reflections honestly, to acknowledge our need for shame and to embrace God's grace as we strive to become more like Christ. As we make these changes within ourselves, we will inevitably impact the world around us. Let us not be satisfied with mere glimpses in the mirror, but let us delve deeper into the Word of God, allowing it to shape us and mold us into the people He created us to be. Reflect love, compassion, and justice. Upcoming, making a tangible difference in the world. May God bless you as you seek to make that change, starting with the person in the mirror. He that has an ear, hear. In a world full of chaos, one verse brings hope. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This single verse tells an incredible story of sacrifice and salvation. God's love is boundless, reaching out to every corner of the earth. He gave his most precious gift, his Son, to save us all. Through belief in Him, we are promised eternal life. No fear, no death, just everlasting peace and joy. It's a message of hope, reminding us that we are never alone or unloved. 
So take heart, embrace this gift, and share the love that changes lives. John 3.16, a verse for all, a promise for you.